President Biden signed a memorandum this week condemning racism against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Officials say it's been an ongoing issue throughout the pandemic, stemming from statements made about the virus's origin. Let's get to News 13's Brady Wakiyama. Brady. Jackie, the goal is to protect Asian Americans and their businesses from harassment and hate crimes. Local Asian community leaders tell me this memorandum is a step in the right direction. Violence and racism toward Asian American and Pacific Islander communities has been all too common in New Mexico throughout the pandemic. As a community and as individual, we have experienced um, a lot of, you know, um, discriminations. That's Bing Hong with New Mexico Asian Family Center, a nonprofit organization in Albuquerque. He says he's heard from several AAPI community members encountering racism this year including businesses like Asian Noodle Bar in downtown Albuquerque and Taste of India off Wantabo and Indian School that were victims of vandalism multiple times last year, including one hate crime described by the owner of Taste of India. But the second it happened, we know it was like a hate crime because there was like racial slurs on all written on the newspapers. Luckily, help is on the way. A memorandum that President Biden signed earlier this week urges the attorney general to work with state and local agencies to expand data collection about these hate crimes. It also asks organizations to avoid racially discriminatory language when describing the pandemic. It's also a good opportunity for each of us to think about what if, what are you playing? What, are, what am I playing in this pandemic to make sure to unite the community, not divide us? Hong admits this won't solve all of the issues, but is a good start. I feel, I feel a little bit relieved though, um, but again, also we have a long way to go, especially towards um, fighting xenophobia and fighting, um, and fighting to, for the general social justice for the API community. And APD did charge a man for causing more than $1,000 worth of damage at Taste of India. Meanwhile, no one has been arrested for the vandalism at Asian Noodle Bar. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brady. APD is planning on meeting with the Asian Family Center on a more regular basis to hear their concerns.